Hey guys, taking a walk here. This is behind the office. This is an arbor side. It's nice. We got the Wyndham offices over here. There's some monsters back here though on the stock. Right. I think I'd probably name a boat like this. You got probably have to name it after trading term, huh? Ebb and flow. I don't know. There's a monster around this corner. Anyway, guys, I'm just taking a break here. I got some more work to do. Got a little bite to eat. I think we want to keep an eye on this Euro, though, for tonight and into the morning. So here, guys, let me show you what I mean. Um, I mean, we talked about this in the live room today. Like getting above these highs is meaningful, right? We like being short. Here's Pi. We're in the Southern Hemisphere. I mean, ever since we broke down here, we've just been bearish, right? So this, this is new. First time you've been above the Pi line since uh, it's almost, well, um, since October. So that's been a long time. And even here, guys, on the Trump, the election, never closed above it. But this is probably where we're headed, right? Being above here, we got the daily close above that level, above the French election. So there's no reason why this can't just keep going, All right? So that's a whole zone. Remember, these are areas. So this is an entire zone. All right. So the way I'm going to play it is I'm going to buy some 113 calls. All right. I'm going to buy the 113 calls up here. And then sell sell like the 107s. So sell these sorry, sell these puts. Sell the puts buy the calls. And then what I'm actually playing for that way um if we don't get there, I don't lose that much. But if we do get there, it's going to be a nice little return because these these are going to be really unlikely that we're going to get filled on these. I'll just go out like a month. So these puts are going to pay for these calls if we and if we if I'm right and we go to the top end of this range, right? These calls are going to pay out nice. And then I'm using the money I'm bringing in on these puts here to pay for these calls and then so that's one way I like to play it especially since we're already overbought so we're already overbought so you buy the upside calls sell the puts small risk pretty decent return if you get up there and then the pullback is what I want to buy into so when we go to a different time frame It's going to be the pullback tonight, guys, and into the morning that we're going to be looking to buy the dip. All right, so we pretty extended since this real money candle. This is the candle that started the whole move, right? Sideways, another real money candle. And so these, this is a 30-minute up cycle. It's starting actually right now. We'll see where the market opens up. So what I was going to say, though, is the next 15-minute and 30-minute dips, I want to be a buyer. It looks like we already got one. I'm going to probably get long, guys, actually, as soon as I can here. I like this pullback, so I'm going to be back long day trade. And again, we covered our core short today, so the next call is to 113, all right? All right, guys, talk to you in the morning.